Yeah, this is it. The argument for the TV license fee has stopped. It's stopped now. It's over. Hi, it's me again. And there is today no good argument for keeping the television license fee because I found some new information. I talked about it on my other channel over on Chili John Carney channel the other day. And it's over. The argument for the license fee is over. Everybody keeps saying I should go commercial or they should become a streaming service, whatever. And I've often quoted ITV's figures, right? Because I'm sure you know by now, I've said it a million times, haven't I? The TV license fee gains the BBC 3.7 billion with a B quid a year. And I often use ITV as an example of what the BBC could do if they go commercial. But the figures I was using, I was saying that they get about 1.4 billion from their commercial activities, the turnover that the ITV group did. But those figures were a couple of years out of date. Well, on a, on a video the other day where I was just wandering about on the other channel, I stumbled across the latest figures. And it's blooming interesting. Have a look. While ad revenues in the media and entertainment business were 1% lower at 2.2 billion after a record 21 result, it is said it was still the second highest advertising revenue in ITV's history, with digital ad sales jumping 18% to £411 million. Total group revenues rose at 8% to £3.7 billion in 2022. Total group revenues for ITV reached £3.7 billion. Now, it's obviously a coincidence that that's the exact amount of money the BBC currently get from TV licence fees. So it goes to show if the whole BBC group, because it's not just the BBC that shows repeats on the telly. Right? You've got BBC Studios, they're commercial, they turn over. I think last time I checked, I'm probably well out of date on that, 1.1 billion quid. You got, I, uh, you've got BBC Productions Limited, BBC Distribution Limited, UK TV, the TV group, they own that. Now, if you amalgamated all of that and made the lot of it commercial, do you think they could make more than ITV make or less? It's going to be more. They're bigger. They're much bigger. Right? It's going to be more. So if ITV can make the value of the license fee being commercial, then BBC can make more. They don't need the license fee anymore. That's it. The case for the license fee is over, thanks to ITV. ITV put out some good... I mean, look at some of the money ITV made. Look. The group behind hit shows Love Island and I'm a Celebrity reported underlying pre-tax profits of $672 million for 2022. Now, it is down a bit from 2021, but the BBC get their 3.7 billion quid a year, and they're losing 300 million pounds more than that a year. There's a black hole in their money. ITV are profitable to the tune of 672 million pounds. Where's the argument for the BBC? So yeah, they've made a profit of 672 million in 22, which is down from 774 million in 21, as total advertising revenues fell 1% and it's spent heavily on content and its ITVX online hub. They spend a lot of money on ITVX and it's a good service and it's free, it's free to use. Not much like iPlayer, but it's free to use and you don't need a television license to watch it. But you have ads in there, that's how they pay for it, right? But if you don't want the ads, you can pay them a few quid, they'll take the ads off. It's the future of television and ITV are proving it over and over again. And why do you think they're profitable? Because they had hit shows like Love Island and I'm a Celebrity. Not my cup of tea, but they're very popular shows. And ITV are incentivized to get better shows because better shows mean more viewers, which means more advertising revenue. The BBC doesn't need that incentive. The BBC, the boss of the BBC himself has said he doesn't care about audience figures and he's not bothered about being profitable. Well, why the hell are you running the company then? Isn't that what a company exists to do? It makes no sense. ITV can do it. The BBC can do it, but they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. But hopefully they're going to be made to do it because there's no argument anymore for the licence fee. None. It's over. So what do you reckon about that? I think that is properly interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. The same amount of money made commercially as the BBC gets. So there is no, as far as I can see, in my mind... There is no argument anymore. What do you think? Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.